Hey guys, Stupid S62 here again. I have here a drip tip, which is the Pyrex drip tip for the 306. Um, I had gotten this from um, John Bessie from uh, the eSafe.com, and um, it's not a bad drip tip. The juice does go down pretty quick. It sits on the 306 very well, except for that it does show about, looks like a sixteenth of an inch down at the bottom, maybe a little bit more. You hear that noise? That's me trying to get it onto the, more like an eighth of an inch I should say. You see right there. Now it's not perfectly flat at the bottom. There is a little space up within here that juice does go into, but it does not leak out from, from here. It does sit around the 306 very well. Um, it does allow the 306 to vip very well. <clears throat> but the only thing is, is you can't really drip any more than two to three drips. And the reason being is because the more you drip into the 306, the more the 306 has a chance of leaking. And yes, 306s do leak from the two holes and, and there by the threads. Which is, I gotta just clean this up a little bit. Of course, there's still a little bit of juice in there. Now I'm just gonna throw this on my ego real fast. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that this is the yes, this is the LR atomizer of the 306, and it's from Eichenbeck. Works very well. I'm gonna put two drops in here. I don't know if you can see around the sides, you'll see an air bubble there. Right there looks like a circle. And then another air bubble right there. So actually there's two air bubbles. There's no leakage from the bottom, <coughs> but it vapes very well. Um, I've never had juice go into my mouth while using this while dripping. I've used this for about two days straight, maybe an hour here or there, maybe four or five hours I would go to either my grip or my other mod that I have and um, use that just to give myself a break from this. Um, I'm not really too much of a dripper, but um, it seems very nice. Unfortunately, they, they used to sell them for, I believe, $20 or 1999, 1995. He dropped the price by $5. I still think that the drip tip is too expensive, for my, in, in, in my opinion. Um, even though it's glass and it's hand blown and made, um, uh, it, to me, it's just not worth the 15 bucks. I mean, I got two cracks on here. I don't know if you can see the one just below my fingernail it's not really coming up on the camera but there's a hairline fracture there and there's one up by the mouth part here and every time I hit it I'm trying to get juice out of it and nothing comes out so it's pretty much the juice stays in there um, when it does hit the side it just goes right down the side and right right to the atomizer so I don't have any complaints at all about this drip tip except for the price. That's just my thing. I mean, if you can get a plastic one, um, you know, two ninety nine, three ninety nine, whatever. But fifteen bucks, still the price to me, about ten bucks. That'd be worth it. But you also got to understand, it's it's class. You have a chance of them coming to you broken. They will break within transit. They have before. Um, but that's not on the part of um, the company itself that ships them. It's really you know, the post office, man. They don't care for what the package is. They'll step on it on the belt. And trust me, I used to work for FedEx, and I used to do the same thing, so I could care less. Um, but the way he ships them out, they are very well packed. They do. They are wrapped in bubble wrap, and um, you know sometimes you just might you know get it and it might be broken. I don't know. 
that's just a chance that you need to take, but still, it's worth it. You know, maybe if the price was brought down, I mean, if you can get enough made at a time, you know, then that'd be, you know, well worth it. And, you know, but still, I still think that the $15 is still just a bit high. Um, but, um, you know, he did send it to me for free to check it out and everything. Um, since it was sent to me and, you know, I used it. It's just not going to be used a lot. I'm not really a dripper, so um, I like my map tank. That is really what I use and everything. And um, this is not bad to have, though, because it does allow me, and I don't have any of the plastic ones. I've never, ever liked the plastic ones that we used to use on the 306s. Just the fact that when the 306 heated up, the plastic would come off in your mouth, you know, and that just sucked, so, but that's me, anyways, um, if you <clears throat> want to get yourselves one, then by all means, try it out, but like I said, you might run the risk, but it's a very, very small risk, I'll say, um, the 3% risk, of it might get to you broken, because it is glass, so just do be careful when you order it, and, um, you know, Maybe you mention to them to wrap it in a bag and then bubble wrap or extra bubble wrap. Bubble wrap isn't really all that heavy, so really as far as, as when you pay for shipping and stuff, then you should be able to um, to get a little bit extra bubble wrap just to make sure that nothing happens to it. Um, mine came to me, it, it was you know, there was no damage. But I did see a little crack, so actually it looks cuts into the glass. I'm not sure what it is. It's not constant throughout the whole thing. It's only in two spots, and I'm not sure why. But, um, you know, it, it is what it is. So on a scale of 1 to 10, for the drip tip, um, ease of use, I'm going to give it a 10. Um, looks, I'm going to give it a 10. Functionality, I'm going to give it a 10. Um, dependability, I've only had it a short time. So, right with that I'm going to say a seven for now um, I will report um, if it's if I've got it more than two months um, then I will make another review on it as a follow-up but right, give me some time all right um, I haven't dropped it so I'm pretty lucky with that part so far um, fitting on it now I do have a bow way <clears throat> 306 drip tip uh, drip uh, Atomizer, I mean, <laughs> one of those days, I tell you. Um, but, um, you know, price point, I'm going to give it a five because I still think 15 bucks for it is just still too high. Uh, if this was, if they were still charging $20, I would say if you've got the money, you get it. If you uh, work off a budget, you can do without it. But that's just my opinion. So, um, until next time, peace, and I'm Lucy, everybody, right? Stay fine. Bye.